I'm in the sugar bush today and we're gonna start tapping some trees uh, the weather now is absolutely beautiful and the weather in the long-term forecast is great but the next couple days is gonna be a whole lot of snow and um, I wanted to get a lot of the trees tapped before that happened reason being uh, it's gonna be a whole lot more work walking around these trees after the snow comes I at least want to get the pails up and hanging uh, so that's not gonna be such a big deal later this will be the first time I use the Still MS250 with the Holzform uh, drill attachment uh, to tap trees. I really think it's going to speed up the process, so we better get at it. My word, that is so much faster than doing it by hand. When you tap it, you want to tap it on a slight angle down and you only want to go two inches in. You don't want to be drilling right into the tree. And a lid. Okay, so there's two up, and I don't know if they did that on purpose when they sent that size of drill bit, but it works perfectly for tapping maples. Very likely, I'm sure people order these to uh, tap maple trees, but I mean, these things are sold all over the world. It's hard for me to believe that they'd actually do that just for maples, but it ends up being the right size, so. Look at that, it's already starting to run. I probably should have had this tapped a couple days ago because we had two beautiful days.
I really do enjoy spending time out here. And you know what? Uh, if I didn't do maple syrup, when would you just walk out here and just spend some time out in the woods? You probably wouldn't. Um, and there's something about having your own maple syrup. Uh, you know, it's just um, fun to have friends over when you're boiling it. And then all throughout the year, you don't really remember all the hard work it took. Um, you just enjoy the maple syrup. What I end up doing is I go around drilling the holes, pounding spiles, put buckets on each one, and then I go back and I put the lids on because I find if you just drill the holes and don't put in the spiles, it's hard to ever find the hole again. This thing is definitely worth every penny. That is definitely the way to tap trees. I got all the buckets up that I can. I think I want to go get a few more, uh, probably 10 more buckets so I can put on the far side of the sugar shack because I just think it looks nice. You know, you come up the trail, you see all the uh, sap buckets um, and it's not so far so you can just dump the sap. Like uh, if it's way back at the end of the property, that makes it difficult. At least here it's got a nice look and it doesn't have far to dump the sap. Um, so after this big snowstorm, we're going to have to get out there and uh, tap all the pipeline and get that up and running. I'm hoping this weekend I'll have a chance to work on the uh, maple syrup stuff, but I don't know how much snow we're going to get and that might just totally, totally rearrange my plans. So you just never know. So hopefully this weekend I'll have a chance to finish up most of the maple sugar stuff. And if I got any time left, I'd love to work on the sugar shack a little bit more. But uh, first priority is to get the trees tapped for sure. So that's about enough for tonight and you guys have a good one.